station. Because it was isn't infiltrated. Oh, but See, they had they had the the text. Well, so what, that's just what, the way. You're referring to the text when you make the same the way that the uh, the Hebrews were. They they had a tendency to go after the gods of the nations that they were surrounded by. Do you the Hebrews, and so the Lord God that? raised up the prophets, and they would constantly hammer hammer away at the Israelites, and they said, "Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, contrary to the gods of the nations which you are surrounded by, is one Lord." Okay, so the same thing happened in Christianity. Christianity started following the gods of the nations around around them. So See, do you, do you and, but in, this was very early. Sure, very I early. I want to understand your position a little bit. So, do you believe in any of the any of the persons of the Trinity are themselves God, or just the Father? Absolutely, is? the Father. The Father alone is God. Okay. And the Holy Spirit is the power of God. You shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon you. So do, the Holy it, Spirit is a power that emanates out from Almighty God. So do you and we are the, sealed with that power. Uh, that just, power. Just so I understand, do you believe that the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, is within, he inhabits you, and helps you in your conduct? Yes. yes. So, what's, what was the role of the Holy Spirit in the development of the Trinity, or, or guiding the people who were Christians? It was, to try and avoid. The Apostle Paul the, warned, yeah. as I just quoted, for it, uh, uh, maybe I didn't make the quote complete there in 2 Corinthians chapter 11. He said, For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, meaning yeah. another Jesus which we as the Apostles preached, yeah. or if you, you receive another gospel or another spirit, you might well bear with him. Well, that's exactly what took place. Gradually, Christianity was infiltrated with this false concept, pagan concept, that God, the being of God, consists in three distinct persons. It's, it's, it's ludicrous. So we agree so, with you on this. The that's only what, thing, what, what is, but, what but on the cardinal, see, here's the difference, and this is sad for Muslims. On the, they're going to, many of, most of them, unless they repent, are going to wake up one day, and they're going to be found with their sins. The Bible clearly says that some man sins are open before to before going before to judgment i i laid my sins on jesus yeah. and jesus was judged for that purpose jesus came into the world to be judged for me so that's the difference between so jesus yeah. jesus death is, is is a vicarious death a substitutionary death if i accept his punishment as my punishment i go free so but the muslims would yeah. say oh so you can sin just any time no 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 that's we don't say that you've been, well that's that's well, one some, of their some excuses. we don't say that but many let, of them do, let me give you a it's not a, I'm not redeemed by silver or gold, but by the by a life. Paul, let's have so a So why would I Paul, want to sin? Let's again? have a conversation. So one, one <laughs> let's of, try to have a, a bit of interaction. So one of the well, I, people are I understand. Rich, so why not? I, 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 I understand. So one why of not the, take the occasion. I, I understand. <laughs> so one of the things that we have um, in Islam is that it's something called justice. Justice. So the person that sins, they're accountable. We see the same concept in Ezekiel 18. The one that sins shall die. The righteousness of the righteous will be on the righteous, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be on the wicked. And repentance was a way to reconcile yourself with the Creator. This is Ezekiel. In Islam, we have something very similar. In the book of James, we have this concept of faith and works, which is very similar to the Islamic concept. We believe we're saved by faith and works. I would, put, I would say... We believe we're saved by faith alone. I understand. And so this is, the, this is the point. Is it ever just to kill an innocent man? No. Okay. No. So, taking that taking that principle, we believe for, that Jesus for, for man for man to do that. But God is the author of life. He can take life. He has that right. You want to argue with God about that? <laughs> so let's, go let's, ahead, but let's see where he'll, see sure. where he'll get you. Let's understand God this. can take life. God is the author of life, and so he, if if he, uh, uh, I mean, he himself provided this lamb for thousands of years, four thousand years actually after Adam. Millions of animals were uh, killed, sacrificed. Why? Because without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. And so, in seventy, yeah, so, 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 so the Jews, the reason, one of the reasons they rejected their Messiah was that they were looking for a Messiah that would liberate them from the subjugation of the Romans. And when that, when they saw Jesus had no interest in that, you know, read in Scripture where they actually wanted to make, take Jesus and make him a king. No, Jesus realized that that, that time is not uh, not yet. Okay. Jesus realized that he has to first shed his blood for the so me, remission me, of sin. Sure. That's why he prayed in Gethsemane, Father, 
if it, uh, you know, if it's possible, possible. remove this cup from me. Right. Yeah. But then he also said, nevertheless, not my will, but thine, we, uh, your will be done. Yeah. There we see two distinct wills. So yeah. Jesus is not one in being with we, the Father, we agree with this but concept. one in spirit. So there's okay, a couple of so things that we agree about. We agree we, that the Trinity is pagan. We agree this. All right. Good. We're, we're, what we're discussing is well, the difference between us is the mechanism of salvation. Right. Yeah. Now we were. I was trying to establish a principle. Right. Okay. The principle is it's unjust to kill an innocent man. Pardon, it's unjust to kill an innocent man. And what you said was it's unjust for human beings to do so. But you said God can take whichever life He wishes. But the fact is that God did not kill him. I agree. See, Jesus himself okay. said, uh, you know, when he was before, uh, you know, ready to be crucified, he said, could I not call at this time 10,000 angels and they would deliver me from this? So Jesus realized that this is God's plan. This is God's plan. But nevertheless, God did not kill Jesus. This was by, this showed the wickedness of the human heart. When Jesus went around healing, every doing, you know, his hands, every, uh, did good. No, only good. Healing people and so forth. Yet, these wicked men said, crucify him, crucify him. That showed the wickedness of the human heart. So God also showed that forth, manifested the wickedness of the human so heart. Let, and let, so, me let me understand this a little bit. So what you're saying is that it's unjust to kill an innocent man. God wasn't the one that killed Jesus, but right. bad people did this. Right. But that is still the mechanism that God has chosen in your understanding right. to Salvation. pay for the right. sins of the people. All right, so, so tell, tell me then why, so me, me, why were the all question. these thousands of people? Let me finish. Let me the so the question is, why would God choose an unjust mechanism to remove the sin from the people? Well, you have to ask God that. Why Why does uh, I, God can do everything? He could probably just forgive us, but God chose not to. So no man, Jesus himself said, no man comes unto the Father but by me. Yeah, so that's God's way of uh, dealing with mankind, and you're one of mankind, and so, so why did uh, God you have no, uh, there's only one mediator between Almighty God and, and man, and that's the man, and, and yeah, Almighty God and man, and that's the man, Christ Jesus. Sure, so Jesus so, says in the narrative of the New Testament, um, speaking to the, the his disciples about the Canaanite woman, that he only came to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. And so we know that at that time, at that time, I agree right. with you. And that's 100% okay. that's what I'm saying. And at the time of, uh, before Moses, when Moses came, if you rejected the messenger, you were going to be misguided. You could be following whichever messenger before. All right, Moses at the was time a type of, of Christ. Absolutely. At the type of Jesus, if you rejected Jesus, but you said, I'm following Moses, you would be misguided. So always the prophets have been the way to the to the book to God, because they're the ones who are the ambassadors. They carry the message of worshiping God alone without partners. The prophets were a type of mediator, prophets and yeah. the priest. Yeah. And forget the priests. So the we priests don't have were the ones who here. mediated between God and man for Israel. Yeah. But when the day when Jesus died, the veil of the temple was uh, rent in twain. That showed that the way into the holiest, holiest of all, is now open. Whosoever will, through the man Jesus, the one mediator. For there is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. I understand that. So now the question comes, if because really the key is difference between us is how we believe we are saved. How, now we, how, how we, we believe we are saved. Because right. we believe in Jesus, peace be upon him. We believe he was born of a virgin, one of the greatest prophets, raised the dead by God's permission, did all of these things. Right. We don't believe he was divine in any way. A great human being, one of the greatest that ever walked on the earth. Yeah? But we don't believe that God would, would do something unjust to, bring, to, rip, to pay for sin. And I'll tell you what I mean by this. If well, something, you already stated it, really. Yeah, so if, you, if God forgives you, if God has forgiven you, there's nothing to pay. If, you're, if a payment is received, then nothing was forgiven, it was paid for. So by insisting on a payment for the sin, through whichever mechanism, and I would say you're killing an innocent man is an unjust mechanism, by insisting on a payment, you're removing God's mercy and forgiveness. So I, I'll ask you a question. Yeah. What, what would you think of a judge <laughs> that, uh, you know, a, a criminal stands before him uh, that it just killed uh, some innocent people? And the judge uh, just says, well, all right, I see you're, you, you seem like you're repentant. I'll just, uh, you know, uh, go and don't do it ever again. Yeah. What kind of society would that result right. in? So that would mean, see, God manifested the severity of uh, what he thinks of sin when he, you know, by, uh, see, there on the cross, the justice of God, 
and the and the the righteousness of God was manifested. God has to deal with sin, same as that righteous judge, quote unquote, a, 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 has quote. to also deal with sin. Yeah. And so there on the cross, the love of God, God is also God of love, but he's just as much a God of wrath. So there on the cross, the love of God and the wrath of God came together. And uh, uh, if you're really judged by the Holy Spirit, because that's the role of the Holy Spirit, to judge you of your sins, to make you sorry, think, of, think about that. I was judged. And I was born in a family, one of the most religious sects in the whole wide world. More religious, more strict than the Muslims. Amish. All right. And I thought the Amish people were the only people that are going to be saved. I looked out in the world, so-called, and I thought, oh, there, out there's the world. Only my people are going to be saved. Well, that, that's how my conscience was hammered from a child. Yeah. But I, I did some bad things. I kind of revolted against my upbringing, and I got involved with girls. I drank. I got drunk a couple times. Oh. So, so I felt guilty. So the Holy Spirit had something to deal with there. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit. God, God is the, God, the Holy Spirit. All right. Had something to deal with. Now, wait a minute. 